Hi, my name is Sinan Salam and today I'll be going through this lovely tutorial. Today's tutorial will be about semaphores. Semaphores in LabVIEW are used to synchronize sub diagrams that should not be executed at the same time. They can become really useful also when trying to avoid a race condition. If you see the image below, you will see two structures, structure number one and structure number two, which both get the same reference. Because they get the same semaphore reference, they will both be synchronized by the same semaphore. So only one of those sub diagrams, I mean what is inside the structure, will be executed at a given time. Now we'll show you how to synchronize your sub diagrams using the semaphore. Okay, so here we have a VI that has three Boolean indicators which will turn on and off in intervals of half a second. So we're on the VI and we see how all of them turn on and off at the same time. But we want them actually to turn on and off and which like only one of them will be on at a given time. So we stop the VI and we're gonna start doing that process. First of all, right click, go to synchronization, go to semaphore, and go to obtain semaphore reference. All VIs wired under the same reference will be, I mean, all structures will be synchronized under that reference. If you have different references, then they're controlled by different semaphores. Now, you can either create a name for that reference or without a name. Since we're only doing one semaphore, we'll just leave it without a name. So now, let's create, I mean add that choir semaphore VI. And let's add it to each while loop. Now, let's create the, I mean add the release semaphore VI. And let's wire them. This is the semaphore reference. the error out and let's pass these wires through this structure Alright, and let's do the same thing for all of our while loops. Now, let's let me explain this. When once the while loop, I mean the structure gets here, the reference, it will give each iteration the semaphore. I mean to that choir vi function the reference, which will control this reference will control these three structures. So 
once the semaphore out, I mean, once the structure has acquired, I mean, this VI, the reference, none of these structures will be able to run until this VI gets the reference, which means that the semaphore has been released and another semaphore acquire VI can start running. This is unnecessary for this tutorial, but you should always try to check your errors. So we go to unbundle by name. And that way we can check our errors. So Since it's a constant, it will only stop whenever there is an error. So you can delete your constant. Actually, there's a mistake here. Get the wire and put it in the output of this function. That way you will get the error even if there's an error after the semaphore has been released. Then you go to the dialog and user interface, get the merge error function, This is just for error handling. And then use a simpler simple error handler. Now on the VI and that's how you get it. Now they will only light up one at a time. And that's how you use the semaphore to synchronize your VI. This will conclude this tutorial. Thank you for watching.